Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. I want to talk to you about a new book. Yes, you heard me right. I have a new book. Now this book is a transcription of an audio program that I recorded last summer in the middle of COVID. I went into studios and cut an audio program called Don't Quit Your Day Job. And guess what? The new book is called Don't Quit Your Day Job. The subtitle is what's important. What you need to know before you go in business so you can stay in business. What you need to know before you go in business, not after you go in business. Oh my God, the people who go in business and they have no reason. They have no right. That's right. They don't have the right. They haven't done the work to prepare themselves for success. The failure rate in small business today is, it could only be considered catastrophic. And look at what happened to small business over the last year and a half. Listen, most of that could have been avoided if people had known what they needed to know, but instead they bought into what all those idiots and motivational bozos and all those stupid people who have podcasts are saying, follow your passion, go out there and follow your dream. And if you love it, do it and build it and they will come and all the crap these people are selling. And they're not telling you what it takes to really run a successful business. Do you know how to hire and fire? Do you know how to manage people? Do you know how to read a balance sheet? Have you done any market analysis? Have you done any competitive analysis? Do you even know if the world needs what you've got? Do you know whether it's going to be profitable? Do you know how many you can sell in order to be profitable? What your break even is going to be? Do you know any of those things? Are you prepared? Are you prepared to go with no sales for a good long while? Are you ready for it to suck? Have you prepped your family for it? Have you had the discussions about how you're probably gonna sacrifice anything and everything in order to make it work? If you haven't done all that, you don't need to go out there and start your own business, regardless of what these idiot entrepreneurial podcasts are telling you to do. Freedom is not entrepreneurism. It's not. Freedom is working for the government not having to think about anything and getting a paycheck every other Friday. That's freedom. When you're responsible for everything, there's no freedom there. Don't think you're going to have freedom over your time. No, customers own your time. Employees own your time. Everybody owns your time. But you, money, well, that's probably going to be a little hard to come by. Most businesses fail because they don't have enough capital to stay alive. That's what the book's about what you need to know before you go in business in order to stay in business. Let me give you what I consider to be the two most critical chapters. Yes, you're going to learn how to hire and fire. This is a straight up business book, folks. This stuff I've been saying off stage for a good number of years. Stuff I've been talking about in my coaching sessions with people who want to become entrepreneurs. Stuff I talk about on those podcasts saying, y'all need to help people quit following their passion and do their homework. This is, yeah, you're going to get all the stuff you need to know, but the two, two most important chapters. If you can't sell, you can't survive. If you can't sell, you can't survive. And you can sell yourself out of almost anything. You better learn how to sell. I talk a lot about how to sell in this, finding a need and filling it, finding a problem, identifying the pain that the problem causes, coming up with a solution, expressing that solution in such a way that it identifies the pain, reveals the pain to the customer so they want to solve the pain and solve the problem and they'll spend the money to do it. And then the last one, this is, this is really my number one favorite chapter, what to do when it all goes to hell. And it will. What to do when it all goes to hell and it will. I, I spoke a lot at the beginning of coronaviruses to groups about how to circle the wagons. Folks, I'm an expert at how to circle the wagons. My wife and I, we are experts at how to circle the wagons when it all goes to hell. And if you've been married 40 years like we have, sometimes it just all goes to hell. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna come together? What are you going to do to circle the wagons? Put the enemies on the outside and pull resources to the inside. I talk about that in this book and that alone is worth the price of admission. Yes, as I said, it is a transcription of an audio pr program. 
So it reads a little different than something that me and a bunch of editors would have spent months and months and months going over. Content in this is absolutely solid. Pick up the book. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun writing it. It's just got some good reviews from Kirkus Reviews and some other folks. Um, the audio program's also available out there, but I actually think the book's probably better than the audio program. So that's my opinion. Go out there and pick it up. Don't quit your day job by the pit bull of personal development. That's me, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, best-selling author, Larry Wingate. The subtitle is what you need to know before you go in business so you can stay in business. Thanks for listening.